What's poppin' my fellow gamers? Welcome back to Reloads Gaming. It is your boy Reloads back on some Destiny 2. Bringing you guys this crazy gameplay with the service regime. A weapon that you really don't see a lot of people running in the Crucible, which I really don't know why, because this weapon right here will really outgun every other auto rifle in the game. Like I'm talking about, I was getting into engagements with people that was running Gnawing Hunger, the Summoner, Hard Light, any other auto rifle, you name it, with all those type of weapons. And I was literally winning every single gun engagement I got, especially if I was shooting first and I was hitting all my shots. I feel like one of the brain reasons that the servos outguns every other auto rifle in the game is because of the spin up exotic perk which allows you to fire a lot faster when you hold down the trigger and i'm telling you like every time i got into a battle i was lasering people and i was really hitting straight headshots with the servos which makes it really crazy it's like you can really sit there and direct your fire and direct your aim and not go for body shots you will hit some insane ass servo headshot clip even in the gameplay you guys can see like the amount of crazy headshots i was hitting with the servos and i feel like a lot of people need to start running the servos a lot more in the crucible because i'm telling you man so many people are running gnawing hunger so many people are running the summer and this is just a very great way just to out dominate those weapons and just win every single gunfight that you come into a gaze with the summoner gnawing hunger and pretty much any other auto rifle which you come in contact inside of the crucible and the current class up that i'm running in the crucible right now especially since i'm running the summer is i'm rocking the beloved so i'm telling you, yesterday when i was playing destiny 2 if you guys were watching the live stream my shot was on with the beloved and just having that service regime would just allow me to one get so much more special in me because i was just bodying kids with that shit and then i was also also hitting some really nice clips with the Saros and as well as the Beloved. I ended up hitting a triple headshot with the Beloved, then I ended up hitting a triple headshot using the Beloved, and then I swapped to the Saros for the last headshot. Like I'm telling you, that's a very great combination to run, especially on every single map, because not only do you have the ability to dominate the map with the Saros and really control the whole entire pace of the game, but you also have the Beloved, which also gives you more map control and allows you to hit some crazy ass sniper clips, some crazy ass headshot clips. Like I'm telling you, Saros and Beloved is a very nasty combination in the Crucible, and I feel like a lot of more people need to start running this especially just to swap up everything from just running knowing hunger and the summoner like i'm telling you put on the servos man you guys are going to be sitting there dominating the crucible you're going to be winning so many more engagements in the crucible you're just going to see like your stats and everything just skyrocket and i'm telling you all from my personal experience of just running the servos non-stop yesterday i've seen my stats go so crazy like i'm literally close to 40,000 kills in the crucible like almost every single game i was dropping like 20 plus kills and just really dominating the crucible and dominating every single map that i was playing on and i'm telling you all man like the servos is just a, such a good weapon especially if you want to either sit there and run it with the beloved or any type of sniper but i feel like if you were to sat there and run the service with like an aping class like a nice shotgun like mine betters or fellow winter you'll really even be more dominant in the crucible because you're playing more hyper aggressive you're running up on people you're sitting there bodying them with the shotgun not only do you have the surge you can fight from a long range distance you're just throwing so many rounds at people and like everybody in the crucible is just not going to be able to hold you and just not be able to know what to do with you because you're just going to be playing so aggressive so dominant just have the enemies just so baffled and so confused like how do I stop this? This man is sitting here bodying me with the Soros, and I'm running knowing Carney in the summer, and I can't even win my gun engagements because the Soros is out here dropping me. Not only is that, he's running up on me with the shotgun, he's aping the shit out of me. Like, how am I gonna stop this? Like, I'm telling you, you're gonna be dominating lobbies. Like, a lot of more people need to start running the Soros in the Crucible, and you'll just see how good you're gonna become when you run this weapon. But I do hope you guys did enjoy the video as well as the gameplay. Just wanted to give you guys some tips and information just to help you guys get a lot better at PvP. Also, I wanna say thank you to everybody that has been supporting and reloads game as well as all the new subscribers welcome to for ghost entertainment's community so i got a ton of more content coming for you guys just to validate the point i was telling you guys why the service regime is so good in the crucible i am going to be releasing a crazy re ran out of meadows 20 old gameplay with the service regime man i was going off with that shit but overall man like i said i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys are new to reloads gaming make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as smash the like button for the youtube algorithm comment down below and let me know if you guys are going to start rocking the service inside of the crucible and don't forget to share the video on social media using the hashtag for Ghost of Entertainment, Reloads, Gaming, and Destiny 2, and I'm going to see you guys on my next one.